Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in today's Tips and Tricks video and this video is a little bit more pointed to one specific prop but it is rather important to understand the way that things work and what we're going to work on today is something that I've decided to add into my 2020 layout which is the brand new PPD Reef. don't have the PPD wreath in the original layout, that's not in the original, but uh, we spent a lot of time building and creating a ton of submodels, and you can see them all right here. Now, these aren't all the submodels that you could possibly get out of the PPD wreath, but at some point, and, and you'll see here in just a moment, uh, you just have to say enough's enough because you got to sequence the thing, and the more sequence options you have, the quite honestly, uh, yes, you can you have unlimited creativity with this prop, but for some point you have to say, okay, I've got a sequence. What are the things that I'm going to sequence with, and what am I going to enjoy? We uh, we created uh, um, a group of submodels, and those are available. You can easily download. I'll show you how to do that. You can easily download this uh, PPD wreath uh, very simply by clicking the arrow download button, click and drag. And then what we'll do is we'll head on over to the wreath section here. And right here, this is under the Boscoyo Studios uh, label here. It tells you here 600 nodes per model. And you just hit the insert button. And now you have a PPD wreath that is uh, quite easy to add in to your layout. So all you have to do is click the arrow down. And when you click the little arrow down there, um, you can see all of the submodels have been added. These are the PPD groups that we set up to program with and to use our effects on when we're programming. So what does that mean? Basically it means um, I have these groups set up in the pro layout and if you create the exact same groups with the exact same name, in other words PPD space wreath space center space piece, this is rather tedious, this is a tedious job, but if you create this in your own layout you'll be able to take advantage of uh, the easy import functions of uh, using the submodels and whenever you do import a PPD sequence you'll be able to click the auto map button and everything will just automatically map into your display. Just for the fun of it I figured since this is my new edition one of my new additions for the display this year um, this would be let's see here we'll reset this since I would do this to my layout today. If you're just starting out, this should be rather easy. You should be able to create these groups and uh, follow along with me as we create groups uh, within Xlight. So from now, for now, what we'll do is we're just going to go and we're going to open up the pro layout. We've opened up two instances of Xlight. So I've got them here in Windows. If you're on a Mac, I don't know if you can do this yet. So first we're gonna create the groups. If we zoom in to the um, to the uh, PPD wreath. Uh, when we click on the actual groups, it will show you what models are there. So you want to have this version open so that you can click these and check them out. Make sure that as you're building your groups over here, they look identical to what is over here on the pro layout for your house. And so we'll get started. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do PPD wreath centerpiece and the PPD seat recenter piece, now you have to come down here, is ring number 17 through 22. That's just the center rings, the, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, six rings inside there. It's kind of like the middle medallion, if you will. So we'll go ahead and we'll come over here, we'll just right click over top of the models and we're going to create a new group, which is add group. And we'll call it identically the same name, PPD, whoops, PPD wreath center piece. And now it's created. So now we have it. Now what we have to do is we have to go find PPD Geo wreath ring 17. So let's scroll down to P. I'll hit the letter P on my keyboard. PPD wreath. And we're looking for 17 
we're looking for re rings, uh, that's pedal, uh, ring 17, 18 through 22, 19, 20, 21, 22. Save, done. So now I have one, one official uh, group is complete. They look the same. I'll click on the next one. And you can see if we add a group, right click, add group, and then we just type in the next name, PPD Wreath Center Rings. And the PPD Center Rings is just ring number 10 and 13. So again, we'll hit the letter P for PPD Wreath. Uh, rings 10 and 13. And that looks like it's all done. So now we have all of our PPD wreath star offsets. Uh, our wreath, we have all of these match up pretty good. Uh, the one thing I will say that I haven't shown you because I've already created it and it's really hard to do that is we have one group that we've always had in the pro layout and that's called the wreath ring. So this is probably the most important one that you need to have set up in your layout. And the reason is this has all of the models uh, of the actual inner rings. So when we do look at the actual PPD wreath model, uh, it's important to understand the submodels and how they're created. If you do look at absolutely every single one of these submodels, and we're in the submodel dialog now, you can see ring number one, and these were created very specifically. This is every pixel on every individual ring that the PPD wreath is comprised of. So we have 22 rings total going from the middle all the way out. And if, as I click on them, I hope you watch, you can see them every single ring and they're all in numerical and locate, not numerical, but location specific order. So when an effect starts on them, it will start relatively the exact same place. And you can see it can't start in the same place because you have a pixel here, but no pixel over here. Here you have a pixel, but you don't have a pixel here. So the start location might be slightly skewed just because of the way the outer designs are, but they're all uh, started in a, a relatively natural position of, let's see, where is it? Where does it actually go? 25, is it 25 at the bottom or is it the top? It's at the top uh, or it's on the side. Maybe it is. Yeah, 25 is on the left side. So this is where I started all the models. That's that's how those go. So you can see that the most important submodel is this submodel, these rings. So be sure before you go in and before you start doing your physical uh, creation of the groups that the uh, first group that you do create is the uh, the wreath rings group itself right here and then you just be you right click add group wreath rings you call it wreath rings and then right here you just put wreath rings inner one uh, uh, oh wait that's the that's the small one sorry here PPD wreath ring one one through t one ten 
17, 19. That's all of the rings there. So you've got you've got 22 rings. That's what you want to make sure you've done. Uh, obviously, in my home layout, I have two wreaths down here, and it mimics uh, some of those submodels. And I also added the outer ring of the bulb here. Uh, as part of the wreath so it it gets some cool effects on it as well so guys that's going to wrap it up for this video i really appreciate you taking the time to join us here if you like the video give us a thumbs up uh, if you haven't done yet so please hit the big red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications also this video is brought to you today by the ppd sequence club when you join the ppd sequence club you get one awesome and amazing ppd sequence new to the store each and every month now, if you don't care for that sequence, we understand, but we give you two other options from which you can choose from for that month, and those options are changed every month. So you always have something different to pick from other than the one that I just select to have sequence for you. As a PPD Sequence Club member, you also get some awesome savings. So don't forget about our vendor affiliate discounts that can save you hundreds and even thousands of dollars on your monthly or yearly uh, purchases within the hobby. So folks, that's going to wrap it up here for me, Clyde here at PPD. Thank you for joining us and we will see you in the next video.